Okay, air conditioner. What we're doing for the air conditioner is we bought one of the stand-up units um, and you have to blow the exhaust out somewhere. So what I did is I cut a hole in the ground. I, I guess I should have showed that, but I didn't, sorry. But I cut a piece of plywood out, cut a hole in the ground, put this bracket, uh, screwed it to the ground, and then you've got the accordion boot that I'm going to come up and it actually locks in the back of this. And then you, you, it says you want a 90 degree angle. So what I'll do is push this back. Let's see, up higher. We'll take a little bit for up. Something like that. Anyway, I'll, I'll adjust it. But we're gonna try to get like a 90 degree. I guess if I go too close. I got is a 90 degree the air conditioner will sit there uh, and then I'll put some blocks down I'll put a block here because it's gonna put a block here screw it down and put a block in the back so that this thing won't roll now also I don't know if you can see it or not I guess I should have took this thing off the truck on. there's a little drainage tube here so I'll put the drainage tube on, cut another hole, and drop it out because this is a dehumidifier and an air conditioner. So let me get this thing set up, block okay. put in. No, so right. we now got the block behind it, in front of it, to the side. It shouldn't go anywhere. Hopefully it won't. I might put a bungee around it. We're going to have to strap it up. I'll put a bungee or something around it so it doesn't flop over. But anyway, the vent's in, 90 degree. We got a power cord, so uh, let's see if we can get this sucker fired up, see if it starts working. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, the vent. I don't know how well it's going to look, so bear with me. Um, that's the hole we cut, and there's air blowing out like crazy. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, so let's go inside. And this is inside with the door closed. Now, it's not 61 degrees in here. That's just what we set it on. Um, I wish I had a thermometer. It's going to take a while to cool this thing down. That's what we're going to write that down. But we got it rolling in here. It says that it's 73 according to the thermometer on the remote it was 77 and uh, this is the inside um, hopefully we're going to record some more stuff while we're out and about uh, now that we finally got a bigger trailer uh, the other one was just so tiny but it worked and now we got plenty of room we've got room way back here uh, let's slide your seat all the way back so we got we got a good bit of room. Uh, I still got to figure out what we want to do. I thought about adding a shower at the very end. Um, I thought that might be cool, but I, I don't know. We might not. We might need a desk or something. Um, what? I'd like to have some sort of desk or something there, or a table that folds down or folds up out of the way. That way, it's kind of like I did the other table in the other video. Um, to where we have it fold down and we can work on it, whatever, fold it back up. and Because we, we're going to have to load tools and parts and stuff in here to carry them down to the job. And then when we get down there, we can unload everything, but then we can live out of it or camp out of it or power over if we want to do it. So, anyway, um, we got the beds done. I don't know how well you can see. This is just a, you know, we put the blankets up here and uh, it's just basically a curtain. Well, to keep the plywood, but this is how much room. Tons of room. So I could even sort of sit up. Ha! He's got a little less room, but it'll be alright. 
But the reason why I wanted to do this and not put one on the ground is because on our other one, we had the cot and I had our foodstuffs up under here. Uh, and I want to do that again, basically maximizing space. I mean, we got six feet room in here or more, six three, I think it is. So our food can go back under here, me here, him here, and then we still got plenty of room. Uh, we'll probably find a place. I, I'm probably going to get a mount for my iPad and put it here, some kind of mount, maybe even a case that I can screw into the wall and then snap my iPod in so that way we can watch videos, you know, watch a movie or something. You do that, and you'll have to make sure you got some sort of water bottle with a drain and a flush, and keep. Uh, we need to get a holding tank. See, they've got holding tanks that you can buy. I don't want to just let stuff go on the ground. You know what I mean? Especially if we're like stealthing in a Walmart or something, or a campground. It's disgusting. So anyway. I don't know if you can see him or not. I don't know if you want to see him or not. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to make, you know, improvements, improvements, improvements. I think tomorrow I'm going to do the solar panels. I'm just running out of time tonight. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do the solar panels, I think. Or at least I am. I don't know if you're coming back or not. Yeah, I don't But um, just stay with us and uh, watch this thing grow. Hopefully... Uh, Six by ten is a lot bigger than that five by eight. And with the Vinos, we get an extra foot and a half. I love how much light we have in here. Light? Oh, because of that? I don't even have to cut a skylight in like I did in the other one. It's got its own built in. And it's a vent, so uh, that's awesome. And if I really wanted to, I could get a fan. Yeah. I can feel air just blowing out of it. I wonder if we're losing it now. Close it back up. Well, it's got to have some. If it's blowing out, if it's blowing air out, then it's got to be pulling it in from somewhere, right? I was just sucking all our air out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so maybe I need to do that so we're actually getting more airflow or something. I don't know. I'll have to read the law. You feel it out or blowing in? Uh, piece of paper. Yeah. Can't tell. All right, open it up a little bit more. Need a streamer. Alright. I don't know. Sounded good. No, look, man. Yeah, a napkin is what you need. Here. It's blowing. Here. Look, it's blowing. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. So it's sucking it in. Yeah. It's sucking air into here. Because we got that big old hole blowing air out. I guess it's gotta pull it in from somewhere. So I guess. All right. All right, well, thanks, guys. Next video, something.